I want to preface this video by saying anybody who doesn't realize and see that I am a true advocate for LGBT people and am gay myself, bisexual. Anybody who doesn't see that everything I'm doing is out of true respect for the LGBT community has a big methamphetamine problem, is what I would say. Now, I went to Meg when Sam Davis was pulled out of the river. I went to Kevin Winslow with some theories about that. Kevin Winslow followed up with one email, and he wanted to know how did I think that the project of the Quad Cities may have somehow figured into Sam's death. He sent that in an email and asked me to answer by email. I still have the email that I sent to Kevin Winslow, but for some reason it went to Kai Swanson. And I didn't find that out until two months later. Um, it's interesting, after it went to Kai Swanson and I didn't know it, Kai, uh, Kai endorsed me for journalism on LinkedIn. So thank you, Kai, I appreciate that. Obviously you knew I was armed to something, didn't you? Makes a lot of sense now since I was locked up in the jail or no charges while you sat on the board and did nothing to get me out. Sickening. Um, Paul Lappin showed up at my door. Um, okay, wait a minute, let me back up. I told Winslow that I felt uh, marginalized gay men with no insurance of their own, no family, no support. I hypothesized that they were being made to live with other older gay men to get their medication. Why did I think this? Paul Lappin kept showing up at my door. Paul Lappin, former Roe New Delta fraternity, Augustana College. Um, he was like on the 12-year plan at Augustana. He's much older than me, but he was there when I was there. Um, anyway, um, he showed up at my door. He was working as he called himself the compliance officer for AIDS Project Quad Cities. The correct word is adherence. Adherence officers uh, take people with HIV uh, to get their medications, make sure that they're taking their medications. If you have HIV and you take your medication, you can get your viral load down to undetectable levels to where you don't pass it along. I mean, you got to make sure that whomever you're sleeping with really is taking their medication and know that there's viral load blips. Nobody ever wants to talk about this anymore in healthcare as though it never even happens, and it does happen. But pharma's pushing that pill, you know, that prep pill. Take some HIV medicine poison, guys, and you won't get HIV. Have all the sex you want. Don't use condoms. That's why we got gonorrhea-resistant strains now is because the guys don't use condoms anymore because of the prep pill. And I'll tell you what, if I had a partner and I trusted him, I wouldn't use condoms either. But if I had a partner and I didn't, I sure as hell would always use them. Lappin kept showing up at my door wanting to know why I wasn't going to get into treatment. I said, Paul, I don't have HIV. I just write about HIV. Finally, he accepted that. Then he started showing up at my door trying to hook me up with sex workers. I'm not making any of this up. The project ended up firing Paul Lappin. And the last time I saw Paul Lappin was at a store and he gave me a ride home. This was many years ago. And his word was effing F-A-G-S's as why he got fired from the project. Here it all is, folks. I'm going to keep throwing stuff up because I'm tired of being screwed with. I'm tired of being harassed. I want to see justice served in this town. Wouldn't it be hilarious if justice was served and I didn't even sell my house? That's not going to happen. Don't worry, Kyle. <laughs> um, but I, I'm not convinced that justice isn't going to be served, even given who it needs to be served to. I've said all along who was in that jail. I don't know why Sherry was inside that jail talking about what to do with me. Sherry, I don't know what to think anymore. You've got me scared to death. You've got me scared of your husband's sheriff's department. You've never explained what you were doing in the jail while I was in there talking about what to do with me. I have no idea why gay people were working in the jail. I'm not going to be called a liar about hearing me in the jail, Sherry. Sherry, I've known you 30 years and everything that has gone down just looks awful. It looks terrible. Sherry, my parents are dead. I'm being run out of town. Your husband's dirty deputies were up here to gaslight me. Sherry, what the hell is going on? And when is this going to be fixed and made right? Ridiculous.